M&T Bank Stadium where the Ravens play and we've got a Raven with us right now. A former University of Delaware Blue Hat and current Baltimore Raven tight end, Nick Boyle. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for being here. It's an honor. Well, uh, it was an honor to, to have you here and speak to all the players and, and coaches and media members earlier this afternoon. What was that like to, you know, you used to be a player in this league. You know what they've been going through. What was it like for you to be able to address the crowd now as a pro? Yeah, um, it was a great experience. I was telling, I didn't have the opportunity to come here my senior year because I was in Canada on a fishing trip. So uh, this is the I first hope, time. Did you, did you catch anything? Yeah, I, I, I always, I always, I always catch stuff, right. you know, when I go. But, um, you know, it's, it's an experience in its own. And, you know, they put up a great event here. Uh, it's awesome to be able to connect with the student athletes, you know, give them something that they can take back and they could use, you know, while they go out through the season, while they go through their college career. And um, it really was just to put your head down and go to work every single day. Um, you know, have a re have a goal in mind, but don't already say you're going to get there. You know what I mean? And, and I'm going to say, like, the work will take care of itself as long as you sacrifice and, you know, put it forward. Nick, like you said in your speech earlier to the players, you know, the perception out there maybe to the NFL players and coaches, you know, see football is a great league, it's the best league at FCS. Mm -hmm. We had a national champion last year, James Madison. What what do you see when you talk to other players and coaches? What is what is their perception of this league? Um, like everyone, I think, who I've talked to knows it's a very competitive league. Um, and I, I should have told the players, you know, it doesn't really matter where you come from yeah. to have an opportunity to play into the next level. It uh, doesn't matter when you get to the NFL team, when you get that opportunity. It doesn't matter if you're from Alabama or you're from a D3 school mm -hmm. or whatever, but I think that the CAA and the, you know, the competition that's in the CAA has prepared me to go to the NFL and be able to compete up there. And um, it's truly awesome. Uh, and if you're a good player, like I should have told you, if you're a good player, you'll be found. You know what I mean? You'll be given an opportunity to go to the next level and play. When you're playing some of the other teams, is there ever, you know, run into another CAA football player? Is there like a special alumni click group when you guys see each other? Maybe some players you played against at that level? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have that many people that I know of. Yeah. But um, as you play more through the NFL, I see people have more acquaintances. And, um, and it's awesome to know who you're playing against like that or have a friend on the other team. Um, it's, it's really cool. It's a really cool feeling. After the game, you get to say hi and talk to them and see how they're doing. Well, you've got a, a pretty famous uh, CAA alum on your team, uh, yeah. and not only from the CAA, but, but from the University of Delaware. How has your school connection, uh, even though you weren't able to play with them, uh, helped yourself uh, with Joe Flacco, both on the field and off the field? Yeah, um, when I first got there, I never met Joe before getting to the Ravens. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it was a really icebreaker to sit down and talk to him and have lunch. You know, where did you live while you were there? Yeah. You know, little questions like that, which I think helped you know, start our relationship. You know, he's a really good friend. He's a really good guy, um, very good player. But more importantly, he's a really great family guy, uh, really good friend, really, you know, just modest, soft-spoken guy. And uh, I think going to Delaware, you know, as he did too, helped us, you know, create this relationship and, you know, made it easy to become a good friend. Well, you have a big opportunity uh, this year to be the Ravens starting tight end. Uh, do you feel year three for you that this has potential to be a breakout season for yourself? Yeah, and that's, that gets you know me back to where you know that's what I want to be, but I really have to take every single day and, and, and work as hard as I can and play as well as I can, and, and hopefully that will take care of itself. Um, we have a really strong tight end group. Uh, we're all really close-knit. We're all really like each other. And you know we're just going to get each other better. And you know from then on out, you know the coach will make the decision who who he wants to be out there. And you know that's the way we're going to take it into the to camp, and, and hopefully it'll work out. It's funny as we look at some of Nick Boyle's highlights from back in Delaware here on your screen. Uh, we do have a question from the Facebook Live audience, the Fighting Hens. Uh, you know, as we're seeing you on here, they ask, "What is your favorite pass route?" I see a lot of seam passes here. You know, little pop passes yeah. in the end zone. Uh, My favorite. My favorite pass, or um, my favorite route, I would have to say, would either be your play action pop pass, like yep. a seam, where, because if you're a good run blocker, you yes. know, I mean, you're going to be able to sell the run and then that'll allow you to free open, or running some type of stick, or like an eight yard out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Something short and moderate, or a basic, which is like a 10 yard across the field type of route. Um, and those, I mean, I like every. Yeah. The, the passes that I like the most are the ones you're going to get. Exactly. You know, I mean? exactly. So, you yeah. know I'll throw whatever, I'll run whatever, as long as you're going to get the ball thrown to you. 
Uh, we also saw on those highlights uh, you jumping over a, a player, which you've done several times in your career at Delaware. We saw it in, in the Senior Bowl, I, I believe, uh, which you've been very successful with it, and you haven't been injured with yeah. it uh, so far. Yeah. It's been yeah. effective. Where did that come from? You've, you've been able to, to pull it off so successfully many times. Um, it just really... After getting tackled too many times by your knees and ankles, you know, I figured I'd just try it once, and then I was successful. Actually, the first time I did against Navy, and I fumbled after. And it wasn't very good. But, did, uh, did Coach have a few words? Oh, he crushed me. When I <laughs> yeah, Coach Brock crushed me when I came to the sideline. But, uh, you know, something that I just tried to do, and, you know, you, when you're a bigger guy, everyone's going to still try to take you out by your legs. And so when you have the opportunity one-on-one -on -one in open field, it's something – another tool in your toolbox you could use. Well, we hope to see you uh, jumping into the end zone right outside of where we are today at M&T Bank Stadium. Uh, it's really big for the league for, for you to be here and speak with us as an alum and now an NFL player. Uh, best of luck this season yeah, with the Raiders. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. to see you, Nick. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. That was